Hey everyone, welcome to video tutorial of advanced data persistence. In this tutorial, we'll see how you can store your own data structure into the database uh, and retrieve data from the same database. So for this, we have two methods. One is do put and one is do get. And these both these methods are non-blocking calls. Hence, the response of these methods are passed into their respective handlers. They are db put handler and db get handler and also remember that all the data stored are in string format right so let's take an example to explain you how this would work so let so let's say you have uh, a team and everyone is using jira jira is a bug filing tool and you have a jira bot which can do many tasks but one of them would be showing the status of the bug when it was last modified the name of the person who modified it and the comment made in the bug so this will be very helpful for your team so that uh, anyone who knows the bug id can pass it on to your bot from any messaging channel and uh, look up for the update so let's see how you can actually put this val these values into the database and whenever someone keys in the uh, bug id uh, you pass it on the details to the uh, that particular person so let's go ahead uh, first go as usual go to gupshop.io and then sign in and then let's go to my bot section let's create a new bot which we'll call as db demo and we'll remove the default code now in in the message handler uh, we are going to say is if the message is equal to update bug 1452 then we are going to actually connect to the Jira server and check if there is an update for that bug and store it into uh, our database. So I'm just going to say Jira up update and pass context to this. And let's define a function called Jira update text context and in this we can write connectors to jira and for the demo purpose i'm just going to say if true then do the below step so if uh, the condition is true we are going to uh, put that uh, put the data into the database so say context dot simple db dot do put so this is the method for uh, inserting anything into the database and it uh, takes a key and the value pair so the key would be 1452 for the bug id and uh, in this i will pass on a json uh, which will be stored which will contain all those four fields along with its values right so uh, it has to be skipped so i'll just show you how it looks so you can see uh, this is where what i'm going to insert into database so i have status which is qa pending last updated which is 10th may 2016 username is john and comment made is dependent on bill steam reverse so i'm just going to uh, put that in the value for went right and says there is some um, let's clear that out yes right okay and if it is not true let's say else it uh, will just say context dot send response to the user saying no new updates and uh, the response of this db put would be actually sent to uh, db put handler so here we'll just uh, let the user know that the update 
uh, the new update has arrived and updated into the database so we'll say new updates up in the bug right and let's test it out in emulator let's say update bug one four five two well there's nothing here let's check the console and says db put as dp put is not a function so i made a typo here where should be do put not dp put so let's check if this is working well again just and it says new update in the work that means this is working so let's deploy this and go to telegram and proxy db demo and say update bug 1452 it says new updates in the bug let's go and check if the database has been updated or not so go to database you can see the key 1452 is inserted and the status as qa last pending last updated is their username and uh, comment is also available now let's see how someone can extract it from the database so it, i'll just say if the mess if someone wants to know and provided the bug id so i'll just say uh, message equal to this and we'll just remove this function because it's no more needed so here we can just say context dot simple db dot do get get and in that I'll just pass on the key as one four five two so now this is the method for get getting anything out of database and the response of this will be sent to db get handler so let's pass parse the response and uh, uh, show you each and every uh, element separately so let's say var bug object equals json dot parse event dot so the tag here would be dv wall so this is in this all the response will be sent so event dot dv wall and let's just say var user equals bug object dot user name uh, var last updated equals bug object dot last updated and var status equals bug object dot status and var command equals bug object dot dot command let's print these all out saying so we'll just say user made this come Man, man, on last updated. Current state, state. Status status. We can try testing it out, see if it works, and it says yes, it works. So let's just deploy this. Oops, and test it out on Telegram. So the bot is already uh, mapped to the proxy bot, so I don't have to do proxy DV demo again. So one four five two. I'll just say one four five two, and it says John made this comment. Anonymous name. 
on this right so you saw how you can use the uh, methods to insert a record into the database and uh, extract something out of the database so i hope you guys enjoyed the demo thank you for watching